Last year we did get a um, badger that um, mysteriously wandered into our local post office. We're not sure where it came from or why it was there. That was the first individual ever reported in Milwaukee County. So they have been reported in every county now in Wisconsin. We are engaged in the study mostly because uh, badgers in Wisconsin are currently protected but um, not in a conservation sense. They're considered a species with information needs and that's unsatisfactory to say the least. Um, what it means is we just really don't have enough information to make an informed objective decision about whether badgers are better managed in a conservation setting or whether they're better managed as a game species. Badgers, as you know, are very elusive. They're nocturnal, they live underground, they're solitary most of the time, and they have a notoriously unpleasant disposition. And so they are very difficult to study by hands-on methods, more traditional wildlife approaches. So what we're doing is using genetic tools hoping to get either a tissue sample from something like a roadkill or a um, hair sample from an animal, a live animal off of a burrow. These are what we call our badger hair snares or hair collectors, which we insert into our badger burrows when we're trying to collect hairs. So basically these attach to the top of your burrow, so these nails are going into the ground. And then this side is where the badger will actually rub against it, which basically brushes the animal pulling some hairs out, hopefully about 10 to 20 with intact roots on them, which is um, where we get our DNA. They often move from each day, so they're essentially a moving target. So if I get an active burrow on Tuesday, on Thursday, it may not even be in use anymore and the animal could have moved up to 10 miles away in a day. By looking more at connectivity between landscapes and populations within the state, um, are there any populations that are sort of isolated out there uh, and able to connect with other badgers. Also genetic variation is important for uh, maintaining viability over the long term for the species. It's been a very citizen science based project. People in Wisconsin love badgers and that has suited us very well for just this kind of study.